Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to fix that type of problem related to Dende Identity Server or you can say Identity Server 5, 6 and so on. So uh, if you are using Identity Server and configure it in the program.cs file but if you are not properly configured your Identity Server that types of problem will occur, some services are not able to be constructed. And second line of code, inner exception, invalid operation exception, unable to resolve service for type dende.identityserver.store.iClientStore while attempting to activate dende.identityserver.validation.authorizeRequestValidator. So, how to fix that type of problem? And uh, first of all, just I am going to discuss how that types of problem occurs and uh, what causes uh, you, you can say that uh, uh, how many causes due to this types of problem occurs when you are using dende identity server uh, remember uh, point be noted that dende identity server if you are using dende identity server like uh, builder.services.add identity server that line of code if you are using but if you are not properly configured that line of code then uh, then you uh, then you got that type of problems okay so uh, if you are comment that uh, pipelining then uh, comment this uh, line of code uh, from the pipelining as well as to configure service then you will notice that your problem will be resolved but it's not a solution you can say it's not a proper solution uh, you can say because you want to use uh, identity server or you can say that you want to use a Dende identity server. So what is the problem? How to fix that type of problems? So uh, basically, uh, that types of problem, if you want to fix it, then you configure three terms. Three terms uh, that is necessary to configure uh, for the Dende identity server. The first one is the resources. The second one is the scope. And third one is the client. If you are uh, configured three things in a uh in a uh, static class file then you will resolve that type of problem and uh, you can say that you you will use dende identity server so uh, first of all when you are using dende identity server then uh, lots of uh, events are raised and these uh, events are you can say so first of all uh, remove or you can say uncomment the line of code where you use dende identity server so builder dot services dot add identity server that is the configuration method and builder uh, sorry app dot use identity server so that uh, if you are not properly configured then you uh, you will receive that type of error message so let's go to fix this error properly so first of all uh, notice that when you are using dende identity server then uh, lots of event raised automatically and that uh, events are like uh, failure like success like uh, claims etc so uh, options dot event dot raise error events that is true and not just i am going to much more details only just i uh, i want to fix this types of error message so so you can use Dende Identity Server very clearly. Okay, so wait for some time. So I will uh, resolve that type of problems properly. So you can use Dende Identity Server in a later video tutorial and or you can say in your project. So options.events.raise event error events that is true. Options.events.raise failure events that is true. And next one is options.events.raise information events is also true. And the next one is options.events.raise success event that is true. And next one is options.events emit, uh, sorry, scope, or you can say claim, static audience claim that is true. Okay. So after uh, raising that, e uh, that event, you must to configure, or you can say must to add static details file. And you can say that. Uh, identity details that is that type of the static and also in in the class file you can add three things that is resources that is a scope and the client 
after adding the resources you can just add these resources in the program.cs file and after configure your scope just add this configuration into your program.cs file similarly for the clients so here we have three things in the uh, class static class file that is identity details that is uh, that is the okay uh, get api scopes clients and application user so here we have add in memory identity resources okay so your problem will be fixed and you can use a dende identity server properly so just start it again and you will see that your uh, you uh, do resolve your types of error message thank you guys for watching this video